It's an exciting day for G-Works because we got to go ahead on a curved, a dual curved archway for a job in San Yi. And it's got a span seven meters. So we had a factory bend, bend that plate of steel for us, bend to the channel for us. That's gotta be welded because they weren't long enough. And we got another plate there. And uh, we're starting. Well, I don't really call myself a welder, but until my more professional guy comes, I can't wait to get these things stuck together. Alright, so we've got a butt joint and two plates sandwiching it. And that's the third one, and they're holding already. Just wait till the CO2 bag gets here. Okay. That'll do for now. So we're making it so that each dome is at a steeper angle to the, to the road. And that means grabbing some tricky lines in order to make those uh, cuts match the plate very well. And I'm going about it like this. That transferred. Turn that over and do it again. Tape might be a good option in this case. Well, I can certainly work with that. Yeah. So now we're at the stage where we need to beef up our structure uh, at the ends because in the middle there's literally nowhere to anchor to. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty confident this is going to work. We're cutting, uh, what is that, 8 mil or 10 mil plate to fit. These are just squares that have been put in. When, when they're welded, they'll be, they'll be ground and cut flush so the wood can bend over. And now I need to make that plate. Like everything on this, job, nothing is a true angle. Get that welded in place and then my structure will be just about ready for my more professional guy with the CO2 to come in and make sure that it's right. I am not a trained one. Steps, the step is light enough. I'm going to use a crane anyway, so it's just awkward. From this perspective, oh yeah, that's the answer. Okay, bang, we're going with that. That's a much better profile, if you can see that. Much better. We've got an expert in the house. Now we know, this thing will not fall down. <laughs> What's your name, Mr. Human? <laughs> Convict number nine. Convict number nine. <laughs> I call him Yuri. <laughs> hey, we'll do that on fifty. And hopefully, what it gives us is that, all the way across. So now our structure's done, uh, almost, and we've got it coated in red lead. It's upside down right now. 
so I'm going to paint it black. Somehow turn it over because I'm alone, <laughs> and uh, get it clad with wood. Each each piece of wood has its own mind and uh, relief behind it. As I do, they're not bending exactly to each other, and that means adding more bolts. And I, I don't want to secure the ones at the top until I get set down because it's going to stretch up. So that's what we're doing here. Okay. Now I'm going to go get coffee. Well, out of 50 pieces, we're on number 24. And um, I must say, we're closing the gap. Okay, 24 out of 50. As this thing curves down, things get tighter, it gets more and more like a, a wine barrel. So I found, I found myself having to taper these, these things to fit at the, at the tops and bottoms. One good example is right over there. So we're going to start painting. Well, came pretty close. Now I've got to figure out how to trim the front. Well, the closer we get towards the end, the more we're asking the wood to not only bend this way, but um, compress and stretch so I'm changing my notch my notching strategy this is the top the top slant fade it into straight and then fade it back into the bottom rail slant it's allowing for that to happen a whole lot easier little trick of the trade I just learned you know in the beginning we could when, the, when it was just the metal structure, me and Yuri, my buddy, could uh, turn this thing over, or Francois. But once the wood went on, oh man, no way. My ingenious bro, Yuri, hooked up a double um, pulley system. It was just hanging from it like a monkey. Twice as long as that truck. And it's illegal to carry something that big on a truck like that. We need the crane. Got that thing strung up to the gurney, winched to the truck, and that's floating in midair. Darn heavy. What we need to do is get it on, on something that rolls, like that thing over there and this blue dolly over here, so we can get it out into the street when the crane comes. Okay, it's a moment of reckoning. Okay, now it's just a matter of fixing it in place and Wrapping those posts with pine, and we'll do that another day. Now, whenever they ask for one of these, you never realize how much effort it's going to take. It's worth it. it. Reminds me of, uh, I, I, what do you call that? Kindergarten. Playing in the tan box and carving your name in there like Greg Loves Lucy or whatever it was back then. I would make it a heart, but I'm too tired. Huh. All right, tomorrow's gonna be a good day. Okay, 
that's pretty much a wrap. We got the post clad, and uh, that worked out real nice. They went up as a single unit. Those things are all cleaned up now. Good thing we brought that, because there was no power source. That's what it looks like over here. This is Yuri's mural that he made. Very impressed with that. That guy worked all night last night, until six in the morning. And the best part of the whole thing is, that part, but it stopped shaking. You can see it. <laughs> anyway, G-Works was here, and now G-Works is going back. Let's clean up and get out of here, boss.